a child should not be a matter to be decided by the male-dominated legislature. Margaret Sanger was an American birth control activist who began and funded the research for the first oral birth control contraceptive. Sanger is also the founder of the American Birth Control League, which is more commonly known today as Planned Parenthood, providing reproductive health and maternal services. Sanger's activism in the freeing of female sexuality presented women the opportunity to reach a more gender equal country. Because of Sanger's involvement in the feminist movement, women were allowed to explore their choices outside of the household without being tied down with the responsibility of child care. Margaret Singer was born in 1879 to an Irish Catholic family. Margaret grew up witnessing the situational horrors of parenthood upon young women. Margaret was part of a family of 12. She saw her mother enduring countless unwanted pregnancies that later resulted in her own mother's death after 18 pregnancies. As Margaret grew up to become a nurse, she noticed that many women were experiencing life as her mother did, which was to stay home and become mothers whether they wanted to or not. Margaret also noted the many extreme cases of these mothers experiencing unwanted pregnancies. Where women who were from poor immigrant neighborhoods, Margaret believed that women who were reproducing in these neighborhoods were unfit parents, either because they were too young, had too many children, and or were experiencing extreme poverty. These children who were being created in these neighborhoods would grow up to then live in the same circumstances, poor, uneducated, and unhealthy. I think the greatest sin in the world is bringing children into the world that have disease from their parents, that have no chance in the world to be a human being, practically. Delinquents, prisoners, all sorts of things just mark when they're born. That, to me, is the greatest sin that people can, can commit. To help women avoid unwanted pregnancies, Margaret was a leader in the birth control revolution. She promoted contraception any way she could, such as writing in the newspaper a 16-page pamphlet titled Woman Rebel. She was also an avid educator in safe and clean abortions for women who were seeking them. Due to these rebellious actions, as seen in her time period, Margaret was arrested several times for distributing information about contraceptives. And now to our story. When Mrs. Margaret Sanger opened the first birth control clinic in the United States back in 1916, birth control was a dirty word. The police threw her into jail as they were to do seven more times during her crusade, a crusade that still faces the reasoning but unalterable opposition of the Roman Catholic Church. That crusade kept Mrs. Sanger away from her children for long periods. Although her name carried a lot of scandal for going against society's norms, she was able to open up the first clinic in Brooklyn, which was to distribute contraceptives and educate women, mostly immigrants and poor women, about reproduction. These clinics soon developed into what is now Planned Parenthood. Margaret was determined to find a pill that would give women control over their bodies. For over more than half a century leading the birth control fight, Margaret lived to see her main goals realized. The invention and FDA approval of the contraceptive pill in 1960 and the repeal of the Comstock Act, which was a federal statute that criminalized contraceptives. Margaret Sanger's contribution today allowed for birth control to be legal Planned Parenthood is now getting government funding and providing family health care services, birth control, and sex education for those who have access to it, which allowed women to control their fertility and gave them access to contraception, giving women a freedom of choice to be able to call their body their own. As Margaret Sanger once said, No woman can call herself free who does not own and control her body. No woman can call herself free until she can choose consciously whether she will or will not be a mother.